Hello, my name is Chris, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to transit enable lots and add eye candy driveways to them in SimCity 4. The reason we would want to do this, well it's because we might want our sims to be able to actually drive on our lots without having to drive over the pavement. If you run out, have SimCity 4 open you'll know that most of the lots have a gap between a driveway and the road so a sim, if we wanted to drive onto that lot, would have to leave the road, drive over the pavement and drive onto the driveway, which isn't very realistic. So to go around that we can either transit in a lot or add a driveway. If we do that to our lots, it will vastly improve the realism of the game. So let's begin. This program I have loaded is called SC4 Tool. And as you can see, it has quite a few functions. We are only interested in one, and that is this one. Marked Visual Editor for Transit Enabling for Lots. So let's begin our Transit Enabling tutorial by loading this up. And now we have to wait for all the textures to load. Which, when you have quite a big plugins folder like I do, can take quite a long time. Now I will say at this point that we are going to have to open our lot, which in this case will be a bus station. And so we have to actually source our lot to begin with. Now this is where having an organised plugins folder really comes into its own. If I go up a few levels you can see I've got it in public transport, which is in my transport folder in my plugins folder. Yeah, you can see it here, I've got transport, plugins, transport, come on. Public transport, buses, stations, and our bus station. So ha having an organised plugins folder makes it really, really easy to find a lot you want. So that's why it's important to open, to organise your plugins folder in. Now you'll see once we've loaded it up, we have this. This is the transit switch tab, and well, we may as well start here. Now, we are creating or modding a bus station which we are using in our city as a central bus terminal. Now one thing that I don't like already is the capacity. 1,000. Not really enough for a central bus terminal. So, we're going to change it. Click on this pencil icon, this window opens, and we change it to a more suitable value, in this case 50,000. Now this does not transit in it a lot, it just changes the capacity a bit. So then we change the transit in it a lot, we click the lot tab, and this comes up. Now, what we're interested in transit enabling is this tarmac -y bit here. The bus is, the main road is here, or the road. The bus is going to come in here. They're going to go around to the bus stop, whatever you want to call it. They're going to go around, and they're going to come out through this tile here and back onto the road. Notice that we're not going to transit near all these tiles because that's the building. And we don't want buses driving into the building, obviously. Now, we want to operate a one-way system within our bus terminal so we're going to transit enable it using this, the one way road so we click the network that we want to use to transit enable the lot we set the directions and we drag it onto the correct tile to transit enable that tile a square with a letter in it will appear as you can see to indicate that a lot has been transit enabled with the correct network and these arrows will appear to show you that there is a transit connection going out of that tile in that direction now notice even though this is a one way road and the bus is only going one way we have the arrow pointing in two directions this is very important if you have it only pointing in one direction 
it's not going to work the way you want it to and I will demonstrate this to you now if you um, let's transit enable the middle tile first let's do that let's go right now if I um, put, do this if I make a transit enable this tile southbound only the game will interpret that as it as a transit connection going outwards southbound only. In other words, I will be able to drag a one way road this way or this way, but I will not be able to drag this way. Because as far as the game is concerned, there is no connection between this tile and this tile. Right? So that's why you need both directions. I know with a one way road, it's tempting to have it only as one direction and it will, that would be the intuitive way to think about it but it's not the right way to do it we need both directions so with that in mind transit enable your lot by dragging this, this to the relevant tile and setting the correct direction of fine which you do using this and that's it that is your lot transit enabled, all we need to save first. There you go. And we're done. That's your lot transit enabled. Now, in order to show you how to make a driveway, I'm going to need to use the lot editor. Which is going to take a while to load. So, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to stop the recording here. And I'm going to come back when the lot editor is loaded. Okay. I'm going to do this quite quickly because I'm running out of recording time. This is our primary school that we've used in our cities before. You may recognise it from the last lesson. What we're going to do is we're going to add driveways to it here and here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend the lot by one tile because that will enable us to put a street texture in so we know how long or where to put the overhanging paths. So let's add these street textures now and we can find them. Taking a while. And I'll do. It's not back you up there, I'll do. Let's put that there. Now we go to the props tab. We are looking for the glam over half. one as you see below and now here's the clever part we're going to rotate this using the page down command we're going to position it carefully so that it just the prop just edges out onto the street like so so that way Right, right. And now, what you do is just get rid of these textures, the street textures, because we don't need them anymore. Reduce the lot to 4x5. Save. And we go. Right, let's do it. Because of this. Let's nudge it up a little bit. And it works. So, and that worked because you're allowed to put half the prop over the edge of the sea tile, but not more. Anyways, I'm running out of recording time, so I'm going to say that's how we make a driveway. I'm going to do a picture showing you this completed not in the game. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a lot from this lesson, and I will see you next time.